99 Stand Dunk is the most overpowered attribute in NBA 2K25. Combined with Legend Rise Up, I get a dunk every single time without using the meter to dunk the ball. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take advantage of the 99 Stand Dunk attribute and get a dunk every single time. I also will give you guys all of the best dunk packages that I use on my build. This 99 Stand Dunk build has got me to the number one ranking in the Proving Ground 2v2 mode on NBA 2K25. If you guys find this video helpful make sure to drop a like and sub up let's get into it all right so we're in the my court and the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the dead zone or the area that you actually want to dunk the ball so as you can see this little circle under the rim this is not going to show up in ranked mode so you kind of got to have a feel for it but this is where you want to be anytime you want to actually develop a standing dunk you don't want your player to do that animation where he takes a step before he actually dunks the ball so all of your drop steps you want to be essentially on the outside of this circle at all times that way you're drop stepping in to the actual circle so to drop step all you're going to do is hold left trigger point your analog stick towards the rim and he will drop towards the rim and you can pump fake and get a simple dunk all right so like i said before you're going to want to get your opponent into the charge circle that little white area under the rim and the ultimate goal of the charge circle is drop stepping into it and then starting your dunk in the charge circle so my boy Breeze is going to be in between me and the rim, but I want to be just outside the charge circle, and that's where I'm going to start my drop step, pump fake, and then you get a dunk every time. Now, as you can see, when I actually pump fake, I'm not going up immediately. I'm waiting a second and letting my player fully square up with the rim before I go up for my dunk. So I let my player square up and then I go up for the dunk. That is where a lot of post scores are making the mistake and not getting a dunk every single time. They're simply drop stepping and then forcing up with it immediately. And you're not always going to get a good animation. That time I happened to get a phenomenal animation because of my 99 stand dunk. But a lot of people do not have a 99 stand dunk to rely on. Now, if he's fighting you, you're just going to want to kind of sprint around the court and work your way still till you get to the outside of that white circle. Once I get outside of it, I'm still going to drop step wait a second and then dunk the ball that patience is what allows you to get the dunk animation if you go any quicker than a full second after your pump fake i wouldn't say a full second actually that's that's wrong if you go any quicker than right after your pump fake you will get stopped as you can see right there i'm completely under the rim he does not have a chance even if he times his jump the only chance he's going to get of getting a stop is actually going to be getting a fluke in the situation where your opponent has a lot of strength sometimes you actually won't be able to fully get under the rim every time in those situations you're going to want to be on the baseline and about this block scenario and you're going to want to fight on the drop step and then you're going to let your guy kind of move around and go for a layup but that's only when you're getting in a situation where he has like 95 to 99 strength for the most part you always want to be in the middle of the court but be very careful for three seconds drop step into the middle where you're directly under the rim and go up as you can see right there though i got a phenomenal animation and i was able to just boom it right off of the drop step but that's not always the case especially on a build like mine that doesn't have super high post control as you can see right here he actually did stop the drop step but because i'm waiting and patient and i wait out his jumps i'm still able to get a dunk literally every single time all right so now i'm going to be showing you guys the proving gowns gameplay this is where i got number one number one in the world with this build now I didn't always play on this build. I actually started off with a 90 stand dunk, seven footer with a 70 vertical. And I'm not gonna like that build dunked the ball, but it was not dominant. I actually ran into a guy with a 99 stand dunk who went six for six. Yes, six for six all dunks on my build with a 93 interior and a 94 block and on top of that i had a 95 strength so that told me that 99 standing dunk was going to be something to be messing with so that told me that 99 stand dunk was going to be scary especially if i put it on my build so i went and figured out his build i actually messaged the guy and i made this build this build gets a 99 standing dunk with a lot more vertical and i'm an entire inch taller if you guys want this build i will be dropping a video on it now that link would be down below if the video is not out yet make sure you guys subscribe like and turn those noties on and you will get that notification once the video is out more than likely if you are watching this video that video is out so go check it out on my channel after you are done at the very end of this video i'm going to show dunk animations so stay for that don't step away quite yet to get the build
Now with everything that I taught you guys in the My Court, you are going to be able to use this 99 stand dunk attribute combined with Legend Rise Up to get a dunk every time. They're gonna be fighting back, they're gonna have a lot more strength than you, but you gotta be patient. Do your post spins off, do that drop step just outside of the charge circle, find your spot, be patient and get your dunk. If the opponent doubles, dot it out to the corner. And then after you dot it out the corner, if he happens to miss, guess what? The build comes with a 96 O port where you can grab that rebound and dunk the ball. And if they happen to get a stop on you and they make you get a layup, guess what? They gotta stop you twice because you have a 96 O board and you just put them in a contact animation and you're gonna be able to get that rebound because the game prioritizes the offensive rebound and then you'll be able to just dunk it a second time. We're really looking like Angel Reese out here. Big shout out to all my locks and poppers that help me use this build. This build is combined best with a lockdown defender or a taller 6'7 popper that can shoot the ball where I can just allow myself to dominate the paint and if they double, I kick it out and my teammate knocks down the open J. Stand dunking is by far the most overpowered thing in this game besides that close shot glitch that people are doing. Let's not even talk about though, though because that is actually going to be patched. And if you make a build like that, you are wasting your money. They will not patch the 99 stand dunk because this is supposed to be in the game. People do get stopped sometimes and they are able to rip you on that drop step. When people are drop stepping, just pass fake and dunk the ball. It's that simple. Back them all the way down into the charge zone, pass fake and dunk the ball. That's why we have 99 stand dunk. The moment we get in that charge circle, they cannot stop us. It doesn't matter if they're 7-1, 7-2, 7-3, max weight. It does not matter. If you let me get to that charge circle, I'm going to dunk that thing. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys the actual animations that you will be using to get a dunk every time. Now, up first for the two foot moving dunks you're going to do rim grazers off two athletics going to be the athletic one handers off two and then you're not going to put anything else on in this category then for one foot moving dunks obviously we're going to put on the rim grazers the hangs off one and the athletic hangs off one and then for athletic we're going to do athletic one handers off one and then flashy hangs off one for one foot moving dunk up next standing dunks we are going to equip all these one foot under basket regular two hand under basket regular Pro hand under bat, pro under basket rim pulls, elite basket rim pulls. Athletic is going to be the one hand under baskets and the two hand under basket athletics. And then we obviously get the elite big man contact dunks. And then we get the pro big man contact dunks as well. Then for signature dunks, the signature dunks are very good in this game. Giannis's signature dunk is great for the driving dunks. This build does get a 82 driving dunk. So this Giannis package becomes very useful. That 75 plus standing dunk is super important on your centers. That way you can take advantage of Giannis because you can basically take off from the free throw line on your slips. Then we do get the Draymond Green package. Draymond Green is good. It's not the best off the dribble. It's more so like those like quick ones where I catch the ball like two feet from the rim and he has pretty quick like quick drop animations and then he hangs on the rim and it looks good. Shaquille O'Neal, I was using Shaq, but I'm not using Shaq anymore specifically because of that Tomahawk one that you just saw. That one is very mid and gets blocked a lot and it's super slow. Ben Simmons is the next package we're going to use. Ben Simmons has a lot of one-handed stand dunk animations and they're all ferocious and very good through contact. The best dunk package in the game is JaVale McGee. As you can see, it takes a 95 standing dunk with at least an 82 driving and that's why we put an 82 driving on this build. JaVale McGee is ridiculous and super overpowered. Definitely take advantage of this dunk package. And then of course we get the Dwight Howard dunk, which has been the best center dunk package I'd say for like the last five 2Ks. So make sure you guys equip this. And then after you've created your dunk style, make sure to go to gameplay animations and equip it there. That's gonna do it for the video though. Like I said, the build video is more than likely out. If you haven't checked it out, click that link in the description or go check out my page. Subscribe, drop a like if you found this video helpful. We will see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy Hollywood. Peace.